Right? This is this is nice. Yele tua faftai. Nanga lele yele tua utato. To mawal maftanga nefiafi. Talo fatui. Sunga ifafi ngainga. Salilea malaki. What a what a blessing uh, to be in uh, in our fellowship. El tato sone on the. I'm at the Malas for Lele. I was so blessed. And uh, I think for Lele, uh, for, for, for those that don't know, keep things, I, I think Fiti is a teacher. Don't you think so? See, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I was so blessed. In fact, I'm, I'm so, don't know if you know how Fiti came to the Lord. I hope Fiti don't mind. I'll be sitting in the Lele to a lot of uh, the way the way we met with Fiti and the way Olelotu na matai o matowi na amata malusunga Fiti. If I tell you if you lot a lot of Fiti on a malicious side, I'll just say I'm sorry. Ah yeah, yeah, yeah. But if I tell you that we're all me and I pay no, if I tell you I'll let you on no. I will not take time. My head is on Fiti, and to see what God is doing is just really amazing. Ah, Mosa, man, this is a. This is this is a new level. This is a whole new level, man. Yeah, of course, it's going to have a lucky. What an amazing um, blessing to have these guys uh, with us, amen. Out in the we I'm so blessed to be part of them, and I'm so blessed to have them as part of my life. Yeah, I'm just going to have a tour. Yeah, I the Lord is now using them and uh, what a blessing. In a preparation for the next generation to take over. Amen. Amen. The preparation for the next generation to take over the church. O te tali tonu ole ava no ole ua tu ina mai ele tua i faife au mo fa fia ngainga i a matangata olo te te ia ekale si e tapi na ina le si tupulanga e hand over i ele lotu. Amen? Amen. So, a luala tangata involved, or the tangata not a prepare in a lesi generation, he a male receive my lesi generation. Yo, a lesi tangata in, or la le sona le wa utilo tilo, we are in the churches, like growing up in the chairs, and I see that one of the most amazing things that is missing in many churches, or a transition there from one generation to another. This generation is a very powerful generation, and then the next generation is a dead generation. Something is not right. Now I know I'm not going to be here in the next 50 years. I'm going to be gone. Don't know when. But I know prepare generation in a hand over lot. Amen. Preparation for the next generation to take over. The preparation for the next generation to take over the leadership. Hallelujah. The next generation must have an amazing attitude. As much as we are trying to prepare the next generation, the generation You want to note that in the Bible, Abraham prepared Isaac to take over the leadership. And then Isaac prepared Jacob to take over the leadership. I have a town like Kenesia Lusum Malua. Olo Yaile, the Talafoyana, or Yapper Amo, is a Ako Lunga Lemanga. A Avelona Tali Osiel Taulanga. The Bible says when they got to the foot of the mountain, Abraham turned around and he said to the servants, you stay here. And me and the boy will go up on the top of Mount Moriah. So off they went. 
Then Abraham loaded the, 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 the wood on his son. And they walked together. Now walking together was the preparation of the next generation to take over. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, three generations, three generations, they serve the same God. And you will see the massive, amazing example. Um, this generation, Apple Ammo handed over yeah, his apple, and Isaac grabbed everything his father offered. When, when his time came to an end, you will hand over your Jacob and Jacob grab everything. And so you'll find that the transitioning from one generation to another was just an amazing thing. Moses prepared Joshua to take over the leadership. Elijah prepared Elisha to take over the leadership. David prepared Solomon to take over. John Maxwell, one, uh, Dr. John Maxwell once said, success without a successor is ultimate failure. So, kako umaleta te yayi generation nei, ta to lea, fai fi awi away nei, o le mata fai yoye ta to, it's not to own the church. We don't own the church. The, the church is not our property. I don't even own the chair I sit on. Pastors, you don't own the church. Faletuas, you don't own the church. We are only caretakers of the church. Our job is to raise up the next generation. When your time comes to an end, you just hand over the church to the next generation. But here's how much I know. I want to leave behind the church in a better condition. When I first arrived, when I arrived, I want to leave the church in a better condition. When I arrived, there's no church building. There's there's nothing. There's none. Of that. There's there's nothing. There's virtually nothing. We we didn't even have a, a dollar. We didn't even have the people. We didn't even have nothing. I want to leave the church behind in a better condition. What for? Not for me. I just want to do my job. I found my, but the next generation have an open spirit and attitude to receive and get ready to run. I attitude next. You're going to be the next one. They don't want to be taught. They don't want to be taught. Our job as leader is to raise up the next leader. Our former man, for your daughter, Leo Saulo, Saul spent all his life trying to kill the next leader. That's Samuel 18, verse 10 to 11. Saul spent all his life trying to kill David. The next leader. Saul urged Jonathan to kill David. Saul tried to kill David himself. So if I feel I lay in a kele mala malama in a role ai ole ole tau ole tau was also if I let you know I can find a kid in Kankana. But pastors, your job is not to kill the next leader. Your job is to raise up the next leader. Amen. Or say, may I fear fear up all the time on your deathbed, seeing and, and handing over the church to the next person. Saying, you, God bless you and do great things for the kingdom of God. I remember uh, William Carrion when he said, let's attempt great things for God and let's expect great things from God. What a, what a wonderful thing to say. Now, Moses prepared Joshua from his youth to take over the ministry. But let me just use a few stories. 
Moses prepared Joshua to take over the leadership. The name Joshua in Hebrew is uh, <laughs> Yehoshua. Yeho means God. Shua means deliver or save. Numbers, Numbers 1.28 Joshua son of Nun who had been Moses' assistant since his youth so Moses raised up Joshua when he was a young person. Now all of the time you were umal time you Moses hand over long arena ya Joshua. So the way a race up by Moses here, Joshua, he will take Joshua into the presence of God. When he goes to be with the Lord, he will take Joshua. And he wanted to expose Joshua to the presence of God. Being a young person, he wanted to expose himself to the presence. He wants, he loved it, he liked it. When a leader goes into the present, the next generation, the next leader follows. Hallelujah, Lord. Don't tell you, Lord, if I can't go among each generation, when the pastor go pray on the mountain, the young person go muck around downtown. Tell me, what if you say, listen, man, you know, before the young people will come to church and they spend their time on the phone, uh, on Facebook, while the preaching is on. Tell me, what if you say, listen, man, you know, before the young people will come to church and they spend their time on the phone, on Facebook, while the preaching is on. Hey guys, you are the next one that is going to take over. Have I had a prayer meeting? Eleon, come here. Say, ah, say, say, come here. Give us a prayer meeting. It's almost like a curse. It is the desire of the next generation. Nobody had to force me to go to the Bible studies. We used to walk from to the oil, mele, ya max, the oil, the oil. Or if I have a Bible study, I'm going to have a Bible study. Or if I have a Bible study, I'm going to have a Bible study. I'm going to have a Bible study. Nobody had to force us. Yeah, I know. Hello, I feel pray meeting. Kaya, I don't know how we're gonna prepare you. Makwale ang kaya ari chu do isita mits. I gave my life to the Lord when I was 21, about same age with Malak. No, nobody had to force us to go to Bible study. Nobody. Prayer meeting. Oh, she has a knife. A prayer meeting. Fai Lungal Mount Baya. And well, more Malak. They walk from the bottom of the mountain to the top of the mountain to do all night prayer meetings. I don't know. I don't know how we're gonna prepare you. I've a matter of just by when Moses went to the mountain, Joshua went with him. Willingly. 
When Moses is in the presence, the next leader and the next generation is also in the presence. It's the training time. Hallelujah, Lord. So Moses was in the tent of the presence. So Moses was talking with God. But Joshua is looking. He's watching. But my Lord, just by when Moses had to go and speak to the people, the Bible says Joshua decided, I want to stay in the presence. Moses can talk to the people, I want to stay in the presence. So Joshua's life was molded by being in the presence of God. On an attitude, you don't know to tell you, you don't know the presence of God is making the man. Hallelujah, Lord. I must say, I all my for you, sure, but it's not, it's not ex explicitly written in the Bible the way I am saying. But I'm thinking, I'm assuming that that uh, Joshua was said to himself, I don't want to leave the presence. Most can talk, go and talk to the people. I want to stay here. Avonga ko di sibem manaya te Deuteronomy thirty four verse nine. Ma chumu fu ayo suwa le tali on donu ile nga nga ipotoi. Awa na fa e atu e mose ona limba ilunga ya teia. Na fa long fu ele fa na unga isora elu ya teia. Joshua was full of the spirit of wisdom. For Moses laid hands on him. It's not like well, Moses was looking for Joshua. But Joshua is mucking around town shopping center. I want to find a Joshua in a chair. So during my prayer time, I, I want to find somebody to lay my hands on. But I cannot find Joshua because Joshua doesn't come to the prayer meetings. So how on earth are we going to prepare the next generation when young people don't turn up? If they do, they normally sleep at the back. Man, I don't know how we're going to hand over the church to... Okay, Lord, go to see me because she didn't let me know you can't. He said, I'm raising people in the church to hand over the chairs, but when I, when I, when I'm gone, we're gonna have to get a pastor from somewhere to come and pastor the chairs, and the, and yet the very people that we're supposed to take over should be here. They are my children. I, I raise them up. Why do we have to bring another pastor from some, somewhere else to pastor the church where you have been sitting for the last many years? Because you had a bad attitude. When the pastor is praying, you never turn up. When the pastor is teaching the Bible, you never turn up. You know, one incident, God bless him. I mean, obviously, there was, not, there was no other option. That was the only option. But I my file and the church split in the middle. Come on, people. Young people. Is this how we're going to run our church? Is this how we're going to run it? 
Let me honestly challenge you. Being called into the ministry is not about all the blessings. No, no, it's not about that. It's about being a servant of God. When God picked on you, it means that you have, are ready. You are ready to take on. God right now is walking around looking for people that are loyal to him. Hallelujah, Jesus. Why well, you know what? It's a very healthy competition. Say, Lord, I'm available. And the Lord said, You never come to the prayer meeting. Why do you want to be a pastor? You're gonna pass the church. I want it AK. I will face you out, Kamaka, or Loma for Fama, if I will be a day, Lose Bear. I'll come up because silly and unfat my own. Our oil is long and with the lady of Simili. Amen. Sit down on the pews and listen to someone whom you call fool. No, for you to matter a calesia or a lot of tangata su elia to a lesu any king. Hallelujah. A su elia to a lot of tangata lesu any king. For the arca keleo, maso ayai, elefanga, I leco, maso fanga, I leco, le loco. But I have a long only laying aye. Eh, I also came out with me. The Kaufasel Melo Aulilay. I work a valam along with low Aulilay. By the Lelo Loco, he a picky oil a cua, and a picky oil a cua low Aulilay. A picky oil a cua the Leo Loto. Hallelujah. This is amazing. I mean, you can imagine, you can imagine Moses going into the presence and then he turned around and Joshua was there. And, and Moses was saying, God bless you, my son. May the wisdom and blessing be on your head. Because it's always around. You know, I want to fuck over here. All five early morning to ma for you. I want to fuck over here. Kill me. It's a transfer of the anointing. It's an impartation of the spirit of the man. I want to make. Well, Bungale, let's see. Boxing champion. Champions are not made in a ring. They are merely recognized there. Or the same thing in my life was wrong. Pay your local sang Lena Koyoki Walda, Bafa Pekede Law, Moki and Rafi. Two years I am Moki. Champions are not made in a ring, they are made outside the ring. Ele Law, Kamaka, the Mel Champing in Safayo, Colony Malosi, I find a a champion is prepared outside the ring. The ring is the place where you are being recognized. I look who I could man, you know, King of Leo Masson. I have a pay this preparation for a Kuya oil for Vasi Vasi. Okay, if you okay, Mala Mala Joshua was made outside the arena in his private prayer life, and he's reading the Bible in his own time, spending quality time in the presence of God, following the leader, listening to the man of God. All over the world, Moses, after the death of Moses, Joshua took over. Joshua chapter 1, verse 1. 
o ma vaile o tio mosele au auna leli o no feta lai mai ile o leli ia yo sua le tali o nuno o len au auna ia mose o lo fa pe mai na maliu lo mose alu sa ale aku el ka ngaka le wo ready ele fa pe nga maliu mose ala pe tu I'm looking, I'm still looking on how he saw Joshua was ready because he had done his preparation. Right, up here, yeah. What did Moses say about Ona? Ole ne ifo ina etu la ya tu ya ya so po ya tu yoritana le na o oe ato mali ne nu uma e ole nu u ofo ina tu ya tu. So God said, now my my servant Moses is dead. Now it's your turn to take over. Now remember la o oelela o oelela hand over kwenga lwenga remember o kai mi ngalu mafu kai ma mose o kai mi la la maka peng peng ai o o le ala la ya lu lu fa kai kai lo la mi le nga fa ele ko ye se mose mose is not going to be there you're not going to turn around moses what do you think i should do there's no more moses moses is gone Lea la la amo wale le ya o ilo fa ma ongi ma lo le fa ma ongi le la ya. Yo, wa wa yo. Polea polea la ba e yo olo la ba ilo tei mi o ma ilo lo tei mi ba la awo o nga lo nga le tua. A ele le le nga kape nga iya ma wo ya lo nga sa wa le kala kama wo ya. A china pe toto, china pe toto. Or if I learn a le capping of a pe, ele or long way, ele or your sua. Alleluia, a little hand over my ring of Bolay Moasis, Valay Hamasis, Goya, Ole, Goya, Sawia, La Fanga, Oi, Fossi, I love on our way. Mow way, Lord, mowing up. Now, what you like, Lord, you at your oil, or you know, I eat. Call one massinger. I hear all that. The rise and the fall of any organization depends on leaders. Why up ono? My lele tua ya yo sua yo sua. Be strong and courageous. Ya e loto tele. Avon my lemela. Moses generation is a pioneering generation. Melo le pioneer, or can't can't get a macassa mea. Semani tissue woman, or the pioneer, or can't get a macassa mea. Pioneering generation. Or let's see generation like okay, I'm a case mea. And trust your generation is a conquering generation. I make I must say, I hand over your Yosua, Yosua, your job is to conquer. My job is to start. When I say conquering generation, or the Kimi Lang of Colossiel and Ule to the promised land. They had to conquer the promised land. They didn't just walk into the promised land. They conquered. So all the generation of Yoshua, all the generation of Apenganga conquer. You know what conquer is? It means you mang ma loa ya. Moses' generation is a spearheading generation. All the generation of Apenganga onga sal and a sul ta yao. Ya singa. Ole fa ole mak kakofa sa mo a voile a sa le ngasu a se ulo Joshua generation is a possessing generation. Now the next generation is nice because your generation is to possess. 
Amen? Why you okong? Ele nga ogi me fa ale nga ngai possess se ka kou fa mole mole. If you if you are a Joshua generation, you possess lands. Physically possessing lands. Amen? That joy is same you. God, oi, oh no me um on the lo langi. Oh no, I lay myself me a cast you your rima. You are an awesome God. Your name is Jehovah Tyre. Why you call? Owning New Zealand is owning lands. I want to your neighbor say neighbor owning the land. That's what the Lord wants us to do. Why you call? Conquering the Amelia tour is not just conquering the land spiritually. We also need to conquer the land by owning the land. But that's what God wants us to do. If we are to if we are to own New Zealand, we have to own the land. Moses' generation is an asset creating generation. Joshua's generation is the claiming generation. Or the generation, I'm, I'm speaking to both both. Moses' generation and Joshua's generation. Well, the generation like Yemako, the generation is creating more assets. Our generation like Yay Joshua, I know a claim or tone. Amen? When I started, for example, um, I, we started with nothing. There, there was nothing. There was virtually nothing. No money, no shoe, no nothing. Amen? I want to hand over the church to the next generation with the assets. So you start with an asset, we start with a deficit. Amen? Amen? Because you are claiming the assets. We work hard. To get the assets. Ele fa pe ala nga gime fa le nga nga fa mole mole. If you are born again Christian, fa mole mole ele ole ke le ka mi boka ko ngo fu ma spiritualize uma mea. No 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 no. Wa yo e ba ko le ku a set fa le nga nga mea fa le nga nga ko e ba ku fo ele tu ya te oi. So our job as pastors now is to create the assets and hand over the assets to the next generation. Both spiritually and physically. After your oil semitua, please don't go to the grave with nothing for your children. I encourage you, if you don't have a property, go and buy yourself the biggest insurance policy you can. When you die, your children can have the insurance policy. Spiritually speaking, I work here. Okay, my yard will come out. I lay some of the young I pass it off on out. Lay my same man of a father and I have a work. Our generation is the asset creating generation. Best three for my money. Okay, my love is only a auto or if you buy or to fall in a two yard or two a pay on off a yard to a bossy. Yeah, well, I like the man, they are not fighting. I'll win a scoring almost in a fight. Now, for my talent to ya, 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 your sewer. Moses has done his job, is, but here's what you need to do go put your foot on the land where you want and claim it for yourself. Or go get a lot of fear. A name for the killing, a chance is going to be a pain. But literally, that's what we have to do. If you want to buy a house, just go and put your foot in. Amen. Stand in the land. Say, Lord, I don't have the money to put a deposit on the house. But I thank you. I can claim this as a blessing from you. I will for you like a hand with 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 a hand with
by my sepi kialoku or over Yaku Waku by Ovayang, I care, Alu, Essel, Leang or Menga Kialu, I like a fear with claim, but I think I will claim O by Palapala. Kele alu se pre meeting kele fi fa long ol opole akua e kele usi ka ya la ngwa ku fa fa a wa fa ma yeo kala be kele ulu fa ri You can't claim nothing from God You have a very stingy attitude Then God commissioned Joshua to conquer the promised land Joshua chapter 1 verse 3 to 9 yeah leko fa ikawa go home and read it yourself but Joshua was faithful in the preparation period. I found my own yard, can be like prepare. Yeah, at least, yeah, we are. I, I made a lot of mistakes in Tangata no Onai, Sungata Valley. But I did the best I could in the preparation time. The Maya Eni. When the preparation is done properly, the next generation will be better. Ole mako fi fai por kalam me ale ale fai kapo ele ai ele ai ole preparation time le fai ye kapo por kalam me ia e alang fai por kalam me ia prepare ai le si next generation Hallelujah Lord e umal ole preparation le han o bal ngalu ngaya o ko. Where you set your food will be yours. The next generation will always be the next level. I don't know if you notice that your children are taller than you. But here's what I believe. The next generation will always be better. Verse 5. 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 <clears throat> now, courage doesn't mean the absence of struggles and strives and challenges. Hallelujah, Lord. Yeah, local Kelly. Or Kelly, I'm a fire in local Kanka. But I love a local by buying a yay. I didn't know local fire. I fire. I had a little, I had a little fire on the hang of local by vital local. Manga, me, Kanka local Kelly. Verse 7. The one thing in Manga Mir Kako preparation is the word of God. I mean, do you read your Bible every day? Joshua's generation and Moses' generation. Oh, see, baby, oh, go ask you, I'll just pay you for the song. I saw the other one for the car. Verse 8. Yeah, oh, man, I don't know if I'm wrong. You know, man, I can't go for you. I'm going to go for you. I'm you can afford the most expensive iPhone that there is in New Zealand. Or the iPhone mele I gave I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
Because here, where everything your brain needs for your success. For you to succeed in your ministry, you need to dig into the word of God. Do not deviate from it. You will be successful in everything you do. Right, emphasize my meditate on it day and night, and you will be sure to obey everything in it. You will prosper and you will succeed in everything you do. You gotta love the Bible, man. You gotta love the Bible. If you don't love the Bible, you are in trouble. Joshua, the man of faith, sorry, no matter so much, all of you are in the land. Verse 21 to 24, you are to Vanga, they spy the land, and they saw the giants there in the land. Oh, my Lola, what is it? Toss a full lot of my family, a fight. We can't. We, we saw that the promised land, a sour lay, a flow, oil, and milk, and honey. But the people that lived in the land, in the promised land, there are giants. Around them, there were the Chepusites, uh, the Hittites, uh, the Canaanites, the uh, okay, let's see, And they said, we cannot do it. We cannot, we cannot possess the land. The kind of leaders that God will want to look for are the people that are brave enough to make decisions to go because the Lord God said so. They will always look for a reason why they said we can't. Hallelujah, Lord. Joshua stood on God's promises. As long as the Lord is happy with us, we are fine. Verse 9, Joshua said, Giants are helpless. We have the Lord. They have no protection, but we have the Lord with us. For many organizations to move forward, we need leaders who sees the problems are too small than God that is standing behind the problems. Yeah, but uh, remember Oh man, it was it was tough trying to convince the people that this is the direction where God wants us to go. It's not easy. I'm saying whatever the Lord is saying, this is what we're supposed I make a you know, it's problem here, problem, it's problem all over the place. For the people that were saying, well, if I make it, this is the will of God, I look at the problems, uh, the problem here, when the Lord speaks, he didn't say there would be no problems. Let me give you the, the, the honest truth. When God told Moses and the people of Israel, go and possess the land, God never mentioned to them that there will be giants over there. He never told them. He said, go and possess the land. That was it. Go and possess the land. But you have to face the giants first. When a Lord speaks, family, when a Lord speaks to the leader and the leader speaks to you, it does not mean that there will be no challenges. We're going we're gonna to have to face a lot of challenges. Okay, really, you know, when. I remember one time when Williamu said, we, we want to buy the TV. Uh, <laughs> Williamu wants the radio station. Um, Williamu said, we want to buy this land. 
Because I was sitting in the meeting and I'm thinking, <laughs> man, William was talking about all this that he wanted to buy for the kingdom. I, 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 I can't tell you, there's no money. And I was sitting in the meeting thinking, I don't know, man. Well, the attitude to look, oh, the attitude to But William got up and said, this is what the Lord said. Why lay a far cow the TV? Far cow money the key all. You all see the building in Navi. And another 10 acres of land in Vitelli, almost paid off. We're not far away. Mariango, one more development of Fire Calesia. Fire Cow, Hallelujah. Kusala, Mandula, they mean now I let you make meaning. Alela woke a mori mauka kilo kilo a mile amatanga for little say your own termine. I'm going, wow, this is awesome, man. Alleluia. A kilola, I feel my lia kuya or supporu missi. It does not mean the absence of challenges. Or me vaila lia hoko le preposition le fai. Ah, or le preposition. A yam of a picauli. A yam of a male is a picauli. When a Lord God promised the promised land, okay. Business class, and you're going to fly from here to the promised land. Your Lord God said, The promised land is over there, you have to walk. I asked somebody, Love, and my love, and I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going The promised land, while a Umangi power of Makua, while Makua, Kaulema, or Kiki Lema, of Kaila Lekua, let me fire Palangi Sevai. I am a Langi Sevai. Along a wing, I kick Kikima, where I call Kaula promised land. Hallelujah, Lord. A Kalu, or Langi power of Makua. Hallelujah, Lord. But you made it to eternity, man. You're going to have a new body. You're going to have a new body there. Yeah. Let me close by <clears throat> by sharing. Let's see, man, because sitting a powerful Lord Lama, I can hear you also. It's prayer life. James five sixteen. The earnest prayer of the righteous person has great power and produces wonderful results. Ole man no long to talo. If I long long olo wamio kongu. Ole man no long to talo. If I long long oli lele olo wamio. You cannot barge into the the throne of grace when you are living a filthy lifestyle. But when you are righteous, your prayer is powerful. Here's what happened when Joshua prayed. Joshua is a full of people. Sulu is full of people. But the talo ya Joshua le tua. But my Joshua le tua. Lela. Ya e tu hi. A wonge ya ekoi mingo ye. Se i kau le kau wa se ya umba. My le. But my ya Joshua le masina masina. Tu hi na. A wonge ya ekoi mingo ye. Now, this is a human being commanding what God made. Now, we know that the law of nature. But when the righteous man prayed, he said, Son, you stay there. Don't move. Until I say so. prayer life. Okay, you can go now. It's all done. I tell you, we are we have been blessed by God with the authority to move things. You know, God gave us the authority of dominion over creation. He gave us the authority. Yeah, I'm going to struggle with
Come on, people. The Lord God gave you the authority of dominion over creation. Like Joshua said, sons, you stand here. Don't move. And that's it. I can't all that way. On my king of my eight to the team of my pena, I okay, Lopo Ekari Kongula, Kalale, Haki, oi. You have been given the authority of dominion. You command things. The man at two want to know, I have a shoe so I yourself, I never by yourself, I want to sing, while I could cool my singy, or fight over my singy. A million dollars. I'm out of the machine. Yeah, what you will out my singy, let me hold my singy. There is a man in the south of my singy. It does not mean that that was the end of the story. A few months down the line, he now owns the land with his more than $3 million. God has ways and means to bless us because we've been given the authority of dominion. We are agents of change. The Lord God bless us with the authority to go and command things in our favor. You want a house? Command it. Whatever you need in life, command it. Just go and command it. It will happen. I will come five more feet up. Allah, Allah, but I say Allah, Allah. I will come five more feet up. Abe, ha. God is God. The prayer life. Oh, on this five five feet, I will go and get I really think that many of you are, you should commit to prayer. Your prayer life should be one of the best. Commit to prayer. Make time to get up in the morning and go and pray. I, the reason why I get up so early in the morning and pray is because I want to catch my children before they go to work or school. I want to pray for the protection before they go, so I want to catch them before they go. Some of them start at 5.30, so I need to get up at 5. Why? To catch them before they go. Yeah, I see that makua. It can more ya. Wa emakamaka ila u la u movie yang po e more le le so akwa. Your children are going about. You can never know what can happen. Yeah, if I long my year, the Joshua generation, I'll go Kafa Valley. I'll go Kafa Valley. They show me my wife. The second thing, if I'm going to go to long attitude. What an amazing attitude. Joshua was one of the spies that scout the promised land. How long an attitude there? We can do it. <coughs> Hallelujah, Lord. No, we are now in a preparation time to hand over the church. I'm 65 now. And I know, I don't know how long I'm going to live. But I want to remind you the next, I want to remind the next generation, you better get your act together. Because now it's a preparation time. When my time is up, I hand over the church to you. Get ready. Woe on you if the church is handed over to you here and in a few months down the line the church is down here. Because he really laying a prepare oil. Amen. We are we are in a preparation time. Both Moses and Joshua need to get ready. That's all too lot in my name. Auto 
Og to fire eller tur nej og om. Et tab bedre ene er let sit generation. But most leaders, they either attack their pastor by words they say, or they don't like their pastors in the way they think. So is yala kanga kaile kau kala maya ola to loto ele ele ele. What I believe God is saying now <clears throat> is for all of us to prepare. The pastors, I challenge every pastor to get ready, prepare, do your job well. Do the best you can. But people in the church, the Joshua generation, get your heart ready and suss out the inside. Stand with your pastor. He goes to the mountain, you follow him to the mountain. If there's a prayer meeting, you are there. If there's leadership training, you are there. Because it's preparation time for you. If you muck around in life, well, that's what you're going to get mucking around in life. We should talk about the language of the commitment. Ele lo pola me avatia de oi. Avatia de oi me fai te le fa ma on ia. Ale preparation time le mo oi. Preparation time le le e uma lo ma to pasie kulo nga lu nga ya o to. Ya ele le le no ele tu. God is looking for people like Joshua. Leilo no loto. Now now no no loto el mamalo le atua. Alu mose tala no ay ole no. Ala no for no for you tono el fale iye. And I'm sure Joshua is saying to himself, I don't want to leave the presence. It's too nice to be in the presence. But in a spirit, in your belief, that you will say, God, I'm going to follow around the man of God. Tonight I make a decision to change my attitude. If you have a stingy attitude, they say, Lord, I have to get rid of this bad attitude I have. It's preparation time. Please don't miss out. The race by a Mose Yosua, my Lona Laititi, say, Lord, fast a furuto sanga or kolingi. You can imagine. Joshua was trained. For 40 years. And when Joshua took over, Joshua took the church to the whole new level. Come on, leaders. Is your Joe Africa called training? Can it turn up? But you, your name is Joshua. You are Joshua. Some of the young people, they never turn up in prayer meetings. You prefer to satisfy your sleeping. But oh, go like kilo kilo up here. You learn me now. You are prepared to do what? Like you have my own in mind. Like you have my little own mind. You two will meditate on the fire. 
So umala ya le si mose ko e pasi nga lo nga le si mose o le si mose la usa ko ko a ba le si wai mose la usa ko ko e umai fo nga wa umali si ten we se nga o mose uma wa le ai mang yo suwa haleluya lo o le si mose o ka woki ya wa ko le se se ba le ai ba se se pasi ya ya pasi wa le si mose ka woki ko nga mose wa ma ko wa alale o ka se ba lo lo si o ko ya ka lo ko See the only my let to change your attitude man We are looking at you You are the face of the next church You are going to be the face of the next generation So we are from my my I let to I you pass here to nga lwenga ya te oy You pass here to nga lwenga ya te oy to for our winner Ara ba 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 ra sandara mato kosha I'll say yes Lord I'll say yes to your will Lord I'll say Say, Lord, after today I'm going to commit my life to my pastor. I'm going to commit to the training process. I'm going to commit to the preparation time for me to take over. Face away, tell her there too, because I can't put words into your mouth. You have to tell the Lord what you are supposed to do. There must be no lost generation. There must be one generation after another generation that are all serving God. Hallelujah Jesus. Because the Joshua generation listens. The Joshua generation prepares. Why the Moses generation prepare the Joshua generation. See the only my dear to say, Lord, I surrender. I'll say yes. I'll say yes. Lift up your hands to the Lord and say, I say yes. To your will, Lord. I say. After me, this prayer must be your prayer. Let all the male to the allo, let all the man for you. What do you love me, my love for the fata? That what do I yate oil? No, not to lay. Do we not to yate oil? Pull your oil, Tama. 